Today is my class at the Stitch and Post with Karen Stone, and I am going to learn how to make hexes on a machine. This handwork girl is going to be driven back to her sewing machine. So I'll keep you posted on how successful I navigate this. Her explanation is fascinating and intriguing, so I'm going to give it a good try. <laughs> making me feel like I'm a little dyslexic. Oh, you got that on? Yeah. Sorry. No. Why? Because you're laughing at me? No, I was asking you questions. Oh, no, I didn't have it on then. And and he he uh, filters everything out anyway, except for when he sees me actually talking to the camera. Yeah, he puts music and stuff. But, yeah. So I'm just, but it does, it makes me feel like I'm not knowing how to do this. Okay. Well, she told me that it, if uh, uh, that you don't have to use the iron, that the glue will dry eventually, but okay. the iron helps the glue dry faster. So you came for the show. And so I, not I just the class. Right. No. Yeah. And I literally, I, we drove here by the time we parked and everything else. I think we were here for an hour. Yeah. Oh my gosh. right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to show you some of Karen Stone's quilts. Um, they are absolutely amazing. This one has already been sold. And the lucky person who gets to hang this in their home is, oh, it's just stunning. And the quilting is amazing. There's one of them. So today's class was about English paper piecing by machine. And these hexes are all sewn together by machine. You're not going to believe how small these are, so I'm going to put my hand in there. Yep. My finger covers that one piece. Amazing. And these are a combination of fabrics of cottons and it looks like they're silk ties. Absolutely gorgeous. English paper piecing by machine with all kinds of different Types of fabric. This feels almost like a little bit of an upholstery fabric. There's some toile that is uh, laid over the top of some of these blocks. Looks like some Japanese wovens. Oh, 
and I hope you can see this edging because the stitching do you see that stitching it's um it's just stunning I think this is totally stitched by hand with an embroidery stitch Got your wow on? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think. <laughs> so if you ever have the opportunity to take a class with Karen Stone, you are going to want to do that. Look at the edge. I wonder if she could whip one of these up for me. Bazinga! Combination of batiks and silks. Oh. would have even imagined that you could put this whole hexi quilt together by sewing machine. Oh. So if you want to learn how to do this, track down Karen Stone. She's from Dallas, Texas. So I so asked for a while Karen. That is the not wearing underwear. Coat. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Karen if this was hand stitched, and she said no. This was machine with King Tut thread. That is, that could have fooled me. I tell you. So this is actually wool, that dyed, over dyed wool, raw edge that she has stitched down on top, right next to Dupiani silk. That is genius, design genius. So I had a fabulous class today with Karen Stone. I got so much out of it. Who would have ever thought that you could sew hexes on a machine and have them look just like you hand stitched them? I would highly recommend this class and it was a fun break and all of this wonderfulness that's at the, at the Stitch and Post is fabulous. So not only did I get to stitch with a bunch of wonderful gals, I got to be here at the Stitch and Post. See you later. Thanks for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe on Quilt Roadies. Mm -hmm.